Hey guys, today, um, this is my first video ever, and um, I really hope you enjoy it, so let's get on with it. Okay, so, this is my garden. This is a corner of wood. This corner is getting bigger and bigger. This is mesh. This is a flower. What do you think this place is, guys? Comment down below. Oh no, you can't. It's a kids' channel. <coughs> Sad. Um, just guess what this place is. Okay, I'm zooming out. Three, two, one. It's my butterfly house. It's pretty big as well. Look, there's. This is like. It's big. Like, there's my hand. I was like, there's it. Okay, let's get inside. Okay. So, I had these. Right now, I have a, like one butterfly. Uh, one butterfly right now. Um, because. Um, I have one butterfly right now. Because the rest of them. Oh, I just let them go. So I have one small blue butterfly. That's what literally is what it's called, small blue. And it's blue, it's a small butterfly. I'm trying to find it. Mm. Oh, mm. It's probably just hid somewhere. Mm. Where did he go? Mm. I'm not gonna spend time looking for this. Okay, so, I'm gonna show you my moths. This is a butterfly and moth house, by the way, not just butterflies. Okay, so starting with the smallest moths is this boy. This is the smallest moth in the world. It's like tiny. <laughs> what is my finger? If you go, you just want on my finger. God, he's a bit crazy. Okay, now I'm moving on to a slightly bigger moth. This guy's currently feeding on a flower. If I get like focus, you can see him. Comparison of size is my finger. No, he can eat all my He's so cute. Okay, now moving on to a larger scale of size with moths is probably this one. Now this one is not my biggest yet, but he's pretty big. There's my, oh, there we go, he's just gone mad now. Uh, let me try and get him on my hand. These moths do not want to go on your hand, they're so active. One of the most active moths, day and night. They usually fly at night, but if you provoke them just a tiny bit, they will get mental and they will fly everywhere. Now, let's got to make sure that there's another moth. Still quite big. Here. And then there's this moth. This moth is also very active. It's called the large yellow underwing. This right here is a male. Uh trying again. On my finger for you guys. Sorry, you're not seeing any butterflies, but I am going to catch them, so don't worry. This right here is a large yellow underwing. Moth. He is very cool. She doesn't get the right focus. Go. It's going to fly. There you go. Oh, she just showed you his yellow wings there. Hence the name, large yellow underwing. He has huge yellow underwings. Oh, he's gone mental now, gone berserk. Okay, here he is. Bye. Oh, she's very, very active. Okay, now my least active moth in this place is this big boy. He's Chongus. And I've got some bigger moths coming soon. They're going to hatch soon. Oh, they're cocoons. This right here is an eyed hawk moth. My biggest boy yet. See if I can get him to show you his eye spots. Oh, there we go. 
That right there is its eye spot of the eye talk moth. She's probably gonna fly. So he's quite. He's my least active moth, but he's still active. I see if like he's got because he's big. He's got proper hooks on his arms. <sighs> Can sometimes be quite painful. Sorry for that blackout on my camera. Just putting it on my lap so I could get them off. Like he's gonna fly soon. See his eyes? He's vibrating his wings because he's gonna fly soon. This is uh, my largest moth yet, but I've gotta got some cocoons coming. And I'm gonna show you them in the box right now. And we're gonna, um, for my video too, make sure to watch that. It's in the morning where you'll see some of my moths have hatched. And we'll have you more, because I'm trying to pair this guy with some other moths. Oh, by the way, um, I, my job is to um, breed butterflies and moths. Um, by the way, if you don't know that, I breed them and I'm, I sell the eggs online to get some money. Uh, that's what I'm going to do, basically. So you just buy your pair first and then you get tons from them. So this right here is a male. You can see he's quite thin. There's a moth in my ear right now. I'm trying to get it off quickly. Off now. Okay, anyway. Yeah, I'm trying to pair these. Um, I'll show you a female later in my next video. You can see the male hasn't got as thin abdomen as the female, but I haven't shown you the female yet. I'll show you a picture of the female right now. I'll show you the pictures at the end of the video. Okay, that's a picture of the female. So, uh, I'll show you a picture of them pairing. Okay. So, Oh, here we go. Whoa, here we go, landed. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you my cocoons for the big moths, and then uh, I'll see you in the next video after this. Uh. Uh. Okay, so, that's on. So in here are my cocoons. They're buried in dirt right now because, like, as butterflies, they hang. Um, but these guys, they sit on the mud below. They make the cocoons look. This is the uh, cocoon that my hawk moths hatched out of. Um, but, like, this one hasn't hatched yet. This is the cocoon that the big moth has hatched out of. But not, he hasn't hatched. This is a different one. But this is what it would look like if he hadn't hatched yet. He's quite big. And then I'll show you uh, one of my bigger moths, which haven't, none of them have hatched yet, but they're gonna hatch soon. Let's see if I can get one to the camera. This guy right here might hatch in like a week, very soon, very soon. It's a private hawk moth. And as you can see, he's way bigger. He's gonna be way bigger as well. Okay, that's it for the video. I'll, I'll just um, show you a picture of the uh, private hawk moth. Um, when it's hatched. Okay. Bye.